बचपन में चेक करो लाइसेंस है कि नहीं है हाँ लाइसेंस है सर आई लाइसेंस सर आई कम फ्रॉम हियर एंड ये वो आई थिंक या वुड बी द ओजी सिंगम अजय देवगन जी ही हैज अगेन अ वेरी गुड डिमिनो टू पुल इट ऑफ व्हेदर इट्स इंटेंसिटी और व्हेदर इट्स एक्शन व्हिच इज वेरी कूल मे बी एज अ पर्सन और अ पर्सनालिटी आई फाइंड इट अ वेरी फॉल्स नोट इफ आई हैव टू पुश सर्टेन थिंग्स एंड एंड प्रिटेंड टू बी समबडी टू गेट सम काइंड ऑफ न्यूज़ आउट ऑफ इट आई मीन आई केम ऑल द वे फ्रॉम दिल्ली टू बिकम एन एक्टर and when you are an actor when people are showing love in such a genuine way mm. it it is extremely satisfying that you uh, can have that impact on them hello everyone i'm rodrani and welcome to zoom speak easy my guest today is right now the talk of the town the talk of the country he's back again being in the uniform and doing it so fabulously of course talking about siddharth malhotra back in the uniform lovely Sada. thank you i'm happy you like it uh re are but i want to say you have a thing for men in uniform <laughs> what sure. do you like of course, of course i do of course i do and good. i'm sure everybody sure. does men in uniform everybody does matlab generalize kar diya matlab bilkul i'm sure everybody but okay. i definitely do you okay. know my parents were in the army oh really um, right. and uh, but but more importantly i feel like men in uniform follow a code of honor and yeah. they're always mostly very gentlemen like you yes. isn't it why you like them as well Absolutely, absolutely. I think it comes with a personality. It comes with a certain ethics. Mm. Uh, any uniform, I think, which is what the great part is. And I personally like them because even my grandfather comes from the army. And uh, yes, this is my second time wearing uniform. First, it was the army. Yeah. Now it's the Indian Police Force. So um, loving it, enjoying it, and enjoying that personality and demeanor. We have to be very honest to me. Acha. Are you getting favors now? Freebies from, from Delhi Police Who? because you all have done like full Delhi ka londa police Aha. thing and stuff. Nee nee, we've not Aha, reached any, that. Any anything? Itni dosti yari nii hui. Delhi Police is a vast system. Humne abhi tak show nikala. Matlab agar kuch matlab aise ek da signal bhi kill toh diya, I don't think anything happened nee, to you. Nee, Delhi nee. mein toh nii hoga. Abiding by the law, Sidi. by bachman mein us hota. I wish I knew somebody <laughs> at that time. Then you <laughs> used to be little scared at that time. Arey check karo license hai ki nii hai. Ha license hai. Sir, I have license. Sir, I come from here and ye ho aisa. Yeah, but I can't. I can imagine you. I can't imagine you even as a young child. जानता नहीं मेरा बाप कौन है तो वो oh, तो बिल्कुल नहीं वो वो बेचारा बोलता कि नहीं जानता मैं हां तो ऐसा ठीक है ही इज अ सर्विसमैन सो व्हाई वुड यू नो सो वी डिडंट हैव दैट लग्जरी टू से दैट तो पर जरूरत भी नहीं पड़ी बच गए एज अ रेगुलर दिल्ली का लौंडा एंड लिव्ड दैट दिल्ली लाइफ प्रीटी वेल या बट इट मस्ट हैव बीन फन प्लेइंग दैट इजंट इट वर यू पर्टिकुलरली excited because you were playing the delhi ka londa as a cop here yeah it was a lot of fun uh, as this character is from delhi uh, just like me delhi ka londa and uh, it's mr rohit shetty uh, were shooting on uh, delhi police for mm. the first time and it's, it's, we're playing a special unit which deals with terrorism and uh, we shot in delhi uh, so a lot of uh, dilliness came out in the show mm. uh, the little uh, delhi twang also helps jab aap इनफॉर्मर से बात कर रहे हो इन द हार्ट लैंड ऑफ दिल्ली गालिया भी दिल सी दी गालिया भी दी बहुत कम एक्चुअली ओटीटी के हिसाब से बहुत कम गालिया आई वाज गोइंग टू गो देयर हमने हमने तो हम तो कुछ भी कर सकते थे आई कैन लिटरली से दैट लाइक 6 इज आई थिंक मैक्स आई इफ आई थिंक ऑफ मेजर्ड गाली दी मेजर्ड गाली दी पर व्हिच इज आल्सो आई थिंक द इंटेंट वाज टू ऑलवेज कीप दैट हिंदी पिक्चर एक्सपीरियंस इट्स ऑलमोस्ट शुड लुक लाइक दैट यू आर वाचिंग अ हिंदी कमर्शियल फिल्म या इट इज एंड दैट्स व्हाट मेड मी वेरी एक्साइटेड कि यार हम सात एपिसोड में दिखा रहे हैं एक एक सिंगल स्क्रीन की पिक्चर hmm. तो वो इंटरेस्टिंग था आई वांट टू फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल बिफोर आई गो ऑन आई मस्ट से हैप्पी बिलेटेड बर्थडे से थैंक यू थैंक यू बाद में आप बुद्धि गाना गा दूंगी जी हां बट इट्स इट्स बीन सच अ गुड ईयर फॉर यू एंड आई थिंक यू इट इट कंटिन्यूज टू बी हाउ इज योर बर्थडे टेल मी बर्थडे वाज ऑलमोस्ट क्लोज टू वर्किंग बर्थडे इवन माय लास्ट बर्थडे द एक्चुअली माय फर्स्ट बर्थडे दैट आई हैव वर्कड ऑन इज ऑन द सेट्स ऑफ इंडियन पुलिस फोर्स रोहित शेट्टी जी ने मुझे जो हमें होली पे काम करवाया अपने बर्थडे पे काम करवाया एंड इट वाज वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग बिकॉज आई थिंक आई थिंक देयर वाज सम डेट इश्यूज वी हैड टू फिनिश सर्टेन थिंग्स एंड इट जस्ट केम टू दैट बट दिस वाज ऑल फर्स्ट फॉर मी बट एंड वी हैड वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सीन्स लाइक एपिसोड नंबर 3 में एक सीक्वेंस है व्हिच आई हैड टू इंटेरोगेट दिस वन पर्सन आफ्टर दिस मैसिव मैसिव एक्शन पीस 
and it's a one shot that the car goes in and opens the jail and bata Correct. Oh, very aggressive that we shot on holi last year that is where you also give gali because i've seen the show I yeah know. correct so <laughs> measured gali Kruchha. measured gali measured but, gali. yeah we didn't go we kept the hindi film tone but it was fun yeah. it was also liberating for me first time mm. to actually abuse on uh, in a right. scene and uh, i think it was done correctly it was not forced i know you're awkward with it as well like you were very natural in the show but uh -huh. i'm like in as a person, you're not the person who will be like. Yeah, but now I think gentleman. very few in that sense. Correct, but it was very interesting that we could do as much as we could do. Yes, absolutely. And uh, but from Galia, we're going to go to angry young man. Jee. I remember you a very different kind of angry young man you've played in your different in, hmm. in your careers in different film. Like uh, you know, in, in Kapoor and Sons, you were also a little bit of an angry young man. There was you frustrated with different things. Boy, chi child, there. Huh. I think angry young child. Angry young child. Uh, so man to and then uh, another film that you that uh, I thought you were not angry, but you know, the one that we love with with Pariniti. Um, Usme you feel. Hasi to pasi you. Achha. I wouldn't say you are angry, but you Haan. were in general. You were this ukra hua, hmm. irritating hmm. person hmm. who's irritated with life, right? Haan. But here you went all out. Oh yeah. Here in Indian police force, you went all out. You brought mm. out your Mr. Vachan fan, angry young man, completely mm. on screen. Mm. Hena? Correct analysis. Absolutely. Na? I think I've. Uh, I mean, I, it's it's not planned entirely, but sure. I think somewhere it comes through with people you idolize and you watch their cinema a lot, and you appreciate like Mr. Vachan is a massive, massive, uh, you know, star and performer for many mm. generations. And what I really admire about his performances is, uh, of his earlier days in the 70s mm. is that, you know, very understated, less is more mm. kind of uh, demeanor and performances and, and uh, not that, that there's any comparison in that sense, but uh, it feels great if somebody, uh, you know, could, could pick from that and try and use that method. It's very difficult and equally challenging. Um, so, yeah, I, I like that. Ki, uh, in my head, referencing comes from sometimes, you know, his uh, films or his characters of that sense, which I could use in Indian police force. Mm. He's played so many cops himself and very good ones in that end. Yeah. So uh, it feels good to take out your inner, inner child and inner audience out while you're performing. Would you say that's your favorite cop in the cop universe in Bollywood? <laughs> uh, Mr. Bachchan ah. playing that? Yeah, of course. Anybody else? Of course. I think uh, he he's the, I would say the quintessential first... Uh, Action oriented hmm. cop. Us zamane mein pehle sare cops ek to ya to negative hote the ya to uh, late aate the. Yeah. Ya yeah. to you used to be doing comedy as well. So he made he, them very like hmm. you know I'm apne uh, his moral compass is very strong and correct and doing audio. action. Correct and the audio coming in there. So I think it has to be him. Yeah. Anybody and then else? of course there have been so many yeah, now. To. Now Mr. Rohit Shetty has like a series of them. Uh, and now you get to be a part of that and I people get, get to, to pick from you, sing Correct. who are the cap cop. But Correct. anyone in the recent times that you really liked? I think, uh, yeah, would be the OG uh, Singham, uh, ah, Ajit Devganji. Uh, he has, uh, again, a very good demeanor to pull it off, mm. whether it's intensity or whether it's action, uh, which is very cool. While the idea is to entertain, but it's mm. also emotional, um, mm. the show, right? You have themes you're showing about protecting the country, people losing lives and all of that. And a very important uh, storyline is through your character. Mm. Kavir is a, is a person who has, along with being an extremely competent police officer, he's a Muslim cop. Mm. And people have spoken about how that can be an, an issue, right? Like you, you're looked with prejudice. Mm. And here, at a point, you know, people are often questioned that, that, you know, on social media and stuff like that also, right? When you mm. hear stories, people have prejudices against it. Mm. I think that is brought out beautiful through your character because a lot of times there are moments there when you go out there and you say, you know, but at the end, I will yeah. always be faithful to my country and nothing else matters. Yeah. My surname doesn't matter. Tell me why that was important for you as well. Because, you know, we've, I think it was a very important part of the storyline without giving away too much. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I think that's what uh, was so interesting about this character. It had that one shade of uh, mm. dealing with people who are radicalized and dealing with the uh, uh, terrorists who obviously are not uh, you know seen the whole process mm. is to find who these, these people are and during that process you 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 interact with people mm. who are doing all of these uh, uh, notorious things and extremely dangerous things and when they try to radicalize that and justify it in any kind of uh, religious form yeah. that's why the character you know comes in with full force and aggression that you know what the 
Mm. therefore you're talking you're, about who are you this is to? not exactly and then uh, if it was then there would not be offices of um, it, it's it's actually very subtly it, the whole process by the end of the episode that yeah. he really gives that monologue and talks mm. to that character and says that you know yeah. how idiotic this is and how people get radicalized by these uh, fictitious words and promises in the name of religion uh, in the name of religion so i thought that was a very interesting uh, shade to the character yeah. i thought it gives uh, so much depth to uh, to what possibly has happened in the past mm. what possibly um, india's experience may be in different different uh, you know agencies and areas mm. where people try to take advantage of that yeah. by dividing people uh, because we have such an amazing population of all different cultures yeah I think it's important to sometimes underline that, and it's 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 not that. It's always motivated by either money mm. or a personal vendetta. It's never about uh, at least whatever I've read mm. and I've heard from people that it's uh, pretty much uh, more the politics behind, even from that side, yeah, yeah. Uh, than uh, of you know trying to talk about and fight for a particular cause. Yeah. Um, so that we dive about, uh, we dive into uh, with this series as well. Um, it gave me some very interesting dialogues to say. Yeah. Uh, which I liked in those monologues. I really liked it. Um, so I'm happy that it's uh, connecting people and people are appreciating it. No, 100%. And another interesting aspect and very important aspect is uh, the amount of death that people in uniform have to deal with in, in your personal life, when on duty, oh, yeah. and even in your personal life. I mean, he's he's a absolute green. He's He might be an angry young man otherwise. So, you know, you on know? this point, we when we were in Delhi, uh, Promoting Indian Police Force, mm. we had the honor to do um, a main function at the uh, Police Memorial. I saw that. Uh, mm. So, which uh, being a Delhi boy, it was growing up, it wasn't there. Yeah. It's just recently built, which I think is great for us to realize as citizens that, uh, you know, uh, I think approximately 30, uh, uh, 3,000 or 30,000, I might be wrong mm. about the numbers of lives have been lost yeah. uh, over the years. And uh, within a span of years, there's a, so many of our police officers lose their lives, whether mm. they're protecting citizens, whether they're fighting terrorism, or whether it's just an unfortunate accident where they're trying to rescue someone. Yeah. Um, so I think uh, that point of view is also important to come through that, to not have that typecast prejudice mm. against all cops being a certain way. Yeah. Uh, I found that interesting. I found that very important to come out as well. And that's what uh, even our uh, story mm. deals with in a very filmy way, of course, but mm. it's in that Hindi film drama that you try to make people feel the loss of your fellow mm. service officers. And but and also dealing with loss when you know your husband and you lost your wife and you're trying oh, yeah. to still do duty. You know, he's extremely uh, aware of it, he, he of what he's going through, but he's trying to work and he wants to work only be there, mm. right? And it's difficult. When you do such roles, you know, how, how do you think about how you would have dealt with that pain? I mean, yeah, I think in every profession, one, especially in terms of performance as well, uh, not that they're in any way similar, uh, mm. doing duty in a uniform and no, acting. Not equating at uh, all. Not equating at all. I think that's not fair. Um, but of course, I think uh, when I read such scripts and stories, I want to portray such mm. heroes. I find it always interesting that I get to play somebody, uh, you know, and say in Sherja's Shersha, case, he was a living person that mm. I was uh, telling his life story. Um, you know, now in Indian police force, it is um, a force or incidents which have happened historically yeah. in our country, uh, protocols that, that today people would follow. So there could be a version of this Kabir Malik in mm. real life, mm. uh, possibly. I find that reality versus real very interesting uh, because it's not completely fictitious. Mm. It's not completely real as well. It's somewhere in the middle. That's how films should be. Ki thoda apko dunya ke baare mein dikhaye aur thoda kuch ek magical dunya mein bhi le jaye. Bilkul. So that's what the show and this character has a combination of both, mm. where he's doing extremely heroic things and yet he could be relatable and a IPS officer somewhere in the uh, you know in in this country. Mm. Uh, and I enjoyed that combination really well. I thought uh, uh, ki eventually hero hai. Hum, mm. hum hero banne aaye the aur abhi hero giri kar rahe hai. So it's always fun. But, but like I said, you know, you mentioned Shesha and I was saying that everybody still is hoping that there'll be more on-screen love stories for you like that with the same oh yeah. pair. And there was also a story that it will happen. Will that, is it true? Because uh, then it'll be awesome. I think no because no, of the course, chemistry think. that you created was so beautiful. It's, uh, love stories are always on the card. I think mm. uh, for me, uh, well, even songs, love songs have always done well. It's something that 
I think has given me that uh, interesting repertoire of like mm -hmm. songs or There's music or albums. Um, and yeah, it's on the cards. Maybe if we if we find the right story, the right director, uh, we will definitely come back as a pair. I love that. Um, yeah. Also, also Janvi, a movie with Janvi is happening, isn't it? Well, there is a there is a film. Yes, of course, that we are in talks it's and a working. Thriller. It's a it's a thriller. It's an action thriller, but uh, it will still maybe take some time to to finalize and, and work through. Mm, I like how he's like, hmm, it nai bata sakta. But it ah, must have been okay. fun, right? Like to, you know, it's always fun when you're in the start of a project and you're meeting someone like Janvi, who you might not know otherwise, considering mm. you don't go to too many places anyway. Mm. Um, you know, it's it's always fun, right? Creating that, breaking that ice, and then knowing each other as co-stars. Oh yeah, I think meeting any uh, working with newer actors and some something interesting comes out. You don't really know in mm. each other's timings. I think um, even in Indian Police Force, it was great to have uh, these uh, veterans. I would say from I had everything: 30-year-old career, 20-year-old career, and then <laughs> I was there with a 10-year-old career. So I think we are all age groups uh, from Shilpa Vivek and me, mm. and even Rohit Shetty. So you can feed off their energy, and when you meet those people and work with them. It kind of, uh, uh, you know, kind of puts you at ease that they know, uh, you know, the lines will come on time. You know, they have their own homework being done, and um, in that unpredictableness, you can bring up something which is new or uh, be more at ease that everyone's playing their part really well. You know, I'm going to end it at this note. I I had a few more. I know you're doing some film with Siddharth Anand as well. Um, mm. Everything you know. You want to ask? I future mean, I've things. heard. I mean, All I'm just saying. Things. At present, I'm, I'm doing this and Indian. But we're uh, happy for you. That's another Indian action one. Indian Police Force and Yodha. Yeah. Yodha. Yeah. We're excited for Yodha as well. Mm. That's uh, you released the poster too. Yes. Uh, yes. But can you tell me a little bit more before I end it with my last question? Yeah, of course. Yodha is coming out uh, in March, and we yeah. would. Uh, that's another hero character, but in a different world, mm. um, where uh, Dharma would possibly create their first action franchise if all goes well. It's. Um, it's got a plane involved. It's got a hijack involved, mm. and it's uh, it's a very fast-paced, unique thriller. Um, and I think uh, that's what we need. Um, it's not a quintessential, hardcore action film in that sense. It's more of a thriller. It's got mystery angle involved to it. I'm uh, excited. It's got Rashi Khanna, mm. me and Disha, all again, first co-actors to work with. Um, so I think it'll be a fun watch, and hopefully, people will like it. Fantastic. We're all looking forward to the other movie questions. I'll ask him off the record. Clearly, okay. he can't Lovely. say too much. But to end it on this note, I think you know what is the most wonderful that you see on internet is you're someone who does least amount of PR <laughs> with the PRs right standing here, um, you know, and you don't really want to come out and say things. And there are people who are doing it. You've been like this for a while. You're a massive superstar right now. Um, but then you see your uh, fans and their fan groups on, on Instagrams putting out the most real stuff about you and appreciating things that they know you will also appreciate, like doing drives on your birthday. They were very sweet, correct? On my birthday, yeah, when they sent me, they've been doing it for years. They mm. would feed people, they would plant trees. And uh, I think I feel really blessed to have be the reason that somebody else would get food or we would have more plants in this world. Yeah. I feel. Uh, those are one of the perks. Uh, coming to the PR thing, I think eventually, if you have to keep reinstating that, um, I find it little fake in that sense mm -hmm. that if, if I have to keep telling you I'm a, I'm a Delhi boy, <laughs> I'm a Delhi boy, I'm from Delhi, I'm from Delhi, you're like, Are pata hai mujhe, you're, you're from Delhi, why are you repeating it? So yeah, then if you feel like, Are jhoot to nahi bol rahe, ki Delhi se hai bhi ki nahi hai. I'm trying to say that. So I think uh, that's what I think of trying to push thing, uh, your work, yes, of course, people mm. should be aware of what you're doing next. That's a part of our job and we are here promoting mm. uh, one of our new projects. Uh, but apart from that, I maybe as a person or a personality, I find it um, a very false note if uh, I have to push certain things and uh, and pretend to be somebody mm. to get some kind of news out of it. But uh, I'm saying that what I was also trying to say is that your most PR comes from your fans. Ah. You know, I see their reels. You are celebrated as a green flag husband, as a human. People are looking at saying, "Yeah, yehi aisa chahiye humko." They're Whatever. like manifesting you. It's because of the stuff that they put out about you from movies and, and the way mm. you are. No, of course, all the uh, all these uh, sweet, important, uh, yet I think motivating things reach you because all performers and anybody who's yeah. in the public eye would want to have a positive impression on people who are watching. Absolutely. Uh, you want to impact their lives in a better way. And uh, when I see this, it, it definitely motivates me because, um, I mean, I came all the way from Delhi to become an actor. And when you are an actor, when people are showing love in such a genuine way, mm. it, it is extremely satisfying that you uh, can have that impact on them. 
Absolutely. Thank you so much. I've said the word green flag thrice in this interview because I want to reiterate this and say that he is truly a green flag human being and husband and everything else. Thank awesome. you once again. Thank you. And I will always cheer for you. And yes. uh, there's so much happening, I know, so we're going to talk about that soon. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Lots of love. Mm -hmm.